Okay, so we are recording now. Uh, I just want to uh, show you guys my app uh, that I, I did use in a MATLAB. It's actually a, a GUI app. Let's just put Okay. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm really proud of it. If you, if you are a programmer, you would like laugh at me. Okay, so what you did, there's nothing fancy here. But I'm really I'm quite proud of it because I'm an architect, uh, architectural engineer major. And this is the first time I code something and I made an app. Actually, I had to do it because I started working on it at uh, 7 p.m. And I had to uh, present it next morning at 8, uh, sorry, at 9 a.m. So I started working on it maybe at 7 and some, like, around this, 7 p.m. And I just wrote everything here, you see. So I wrote 5, 11 line of codings. Uh, to be precise, I didn't write every single line here and every single word. Uh, those uh, like those main functions they provided by MATLAB when you, you when you design the interface of the, of the app so they will give you some of the functionality for example without 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 these guys here you will like MATLAB will just give you give you this and you have to say push button one what would it do and like what it does that stuff all right let's talk let's just move to the app let's run this thing I call it experiment one it's a pitometer. It's a step counter. Again, if you are a programmer, you would laugh at me. This is a very simple idea. It's nothing. Uh, this is a MATLAB. Not good like for for doing programs and stuff. But I'm, I'm I'm really proud of it. This is the first time I I write codes and I made app. So let's show you what it has and what it does. Oh, before that, let's just go here to. I had I had to design this. Read. I don't know if so. Yeah, here. Uh, blah blah. Like the like the core functionality and stuff. And the main thing here, what I wanted to do here, to be this app to be intuitive and very neat and simple to use. And um, I really believe in the in the saying that says simplicity is the beauty. And really, simplicity is the beauty. And here's the advanced functionality. You may guys not be concerned in this, but it's like they said. This is very important. It ha it, I would say uh, it has like maybe more than twenty percent of my grade, so uh, I had to write it. So just let's start. Let's start demonstrating the app. So we need to set up the serial. All right, we're there. Let me, where did that go? Hold on. Go. Yeah, here. I want this to be here now. All right. So what's well, done? This word done took me a while to make it like appear here. Uh, again, it's very simple to like a programmer. So this to calibrate. Oh yeah, by the way, the uh, the this app is not like just uh, uh, just sponge of coding that you make and this program would like tell you what to do. It's actually ex I have I have here on me accelerometer that connected to a Arduino board. The this like uh, the small blue board that like like uh, a communicator between the laptop and the accelerometer and I have this board the Arduino board connected to my Mac. So yeah, here like after uh, setting up the serial uh, calibration, it tells me here lay the accelerometer on a flat surface. So I'm laying now the accelerometer on a flat surface. So stand accelerometer on the edge so that X Access arrows up. So here we are. I just did that. So hit next. Stand accelerometer on the edge so that y arrows up. So obviously it won't ask me the z axis points up or down because it already has like the x and the y. I'm sorry if I insult your intelligence, but I just want to make everything neat and clear. I didn't mean to insult anybody intelligence, but let's just move on. So here, uh, before I hit start, I just want to demonstrate something. Here we have filters. I have two kind of filters. I have uh, alpha filter and symbol moving average. 
so this would apply a filtering on the movement when you run so you would see maybe like when you see a graph even even in in in, in, in this, like when you see like a, a forex or stocks uh like a graph of, of, of any any kind of stock you would see like very ugly noise shape of the like a frequency they made the graph very ugly when you like do any any math course you would see like very nice smooth line goes like this but like when you apply a real 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 data you would see like very noise moving I will, I will show you now and they have the threshold I will demonstrate where I move where I'm, I'm running the app and they have timing stopwatch and here I have a vector of a, of a person movement and how many how many count uh, how, I'm sorry how many steps this would count how many steps you you made and finally here you would like if you want back to, as, as a featuring and it's this this actually one of the let me show you here read me here I had like I have to make everything fancy so that the grader would <laughs> it's funny what I made for the for the for this one but let me read to you this one uh, here the user had the option to share their data they collected from the activity to an Excel file so for this one I had to like make some for this one here for the vector movement um, I made very funny uh, but they would they would they would take it the user have the option uh, to read their body movements in a given direction that's now in their uh, their body divers along with the run uh, by built in three demonstration scale so let me actually put that over need it so yeah this for this and this stopwatch I have yeah I have this one of the of the advanced functionality so they say so uh, again if you're a programmer don't laugh at me here because I'm really architectural engineering major I really don't deal with this stuff so much but I did this overnight I spent more than 14 hours I haven't even that night I didn't actually eat I didn't this was it was crazy so we'll just to start so you see here that the, 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 the timing started and you see here like all these noise here how they you see it's very ugly noise it makes and so you would tell me now okay uh, Mohammed why you why you didn't have any uh, any 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 count I'll tell you right now this is the, by the way this is the, the vector and this is the timing so let's apply some filtering so I'm gonna choose the alpha filter see how the noise like changes and if you see here it would make like it would apply some it will make it like a smooth so that you would have like a good idea of of, of this and this oh well, by the way I can like just adjust like the the filtering I make it very high very low um, yeah this thing goes with the simple moving average too so with the simple moving average you have to enter the number of, of, of filtering so I would say like nine let's up by nine I hit enter and you see how like you see how how hard filtering this this thing making and let's go back to five all right I go to to alpha filter I'm just gonna use this to demonstrate my idea okay now I still don't have any any count I'll tell you why so hit the the third chill and there's some line here I'm gonna show you just keep your eye like I'm moving this Do you see this black line here it's a black dotted line this if any of your movement X or Y or Z when you run hit this like go go above this line it would count one so actually this depends on like your toughness when you run this moment it's, it's 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 too high so you have to be <coughs> you have to be let's count counted one because this goes up you have to be uh like jumping around to get like to count so we, um, we're gonna just put it like lower so that would count so count to three i'm actually not running i'm actually holding hand in my hand make it less and would count here and you would see here that the time moving and your vector like it's crazy because I'm moving my hand uh, not, in, not in one direction and it counts here okay and when you're done just click stop and you have how many steps how many steps you made and you can just simple 
Okay, this when you're using a MATLAB, you have to create your own uh, separate separate JIT in Excel file so that you can just simply export it. So you hit here, you hit enter. So all the data you collected from here and how many steps and the timing and everything will hit, will be smooth to you to the to the Excel file. Again, don't laugh at me if you're a programmer. I just did this actually with uh, from 7 p.m. till 9. 9 a.m. the next morning I didn't sleep I didn't eat it took me some time to figure some stuff out but I would say for me it was it was kind of hard um, yeah and I demonstrated my app to the uh, uh, to the professors and they they seems to like it again simplicity is the beauty and um, yeah this was the my app and I'm I'm quite proud of it. Yeah, so this we have also some 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 stuff here going on. It's actually like just uh, having the timing and stuff with with applied filter and you know how many filters I applied and when did this go? All this data would be exported to to your Excel file if you have your like Excel file connected. So many things, but this is what we collected right now. So yeah, um, that's pretty much about my app. If you like it, just hit like. And yeah, this is the first programming that I make in my entire life. And I did this. Uh, thanks for watching. Like it if you like it. Thanks.